What we're about to share with you is a story of crime, friendship and betrayal in the world of EVE Online. Seriously, this is all actual true stuff. It's uh, about an unbelievable heist. A guy spent 16 months of his full actual life working his targets in the game and made off with a one-of-a-kind spaceship. I mean, this would actually be a decent sci-fi movie. And strap in, guys. This is well worth the, the yeah. investment in your time. It might be a longer video, but it's f***ing worth it. It all started almost a year and a half ago when EVE Online player Samantha Myth found himself feeling tight on cash and hungry for a shiny new ship. Like really, really hungry for a seriously shiny ship. So he decided to steal one. His target was the Amamake Police, an elite group of EVE Online pirates and their super valuable Alliance tournament ships worth 100 billion ISK. ISK being EVE's in-game currency. His plan was to infiltrate the group, fight and die beside them, earn their respect and take their valuable ships right from under their noses. So desperate was Samantha to pull this off, he actually worked his marks for 16 months before finally completing the heist. Samantha took to Reddit a few days ago to tell everyone the story of how he managed to rob Amamaki police veteran TikTok Toxic of his legendary Cremoas frigate, the Mini Huntress. It's a truly one-of-a-kind ship and that isn't hyperbole. It's adorned with 400 kill marks, which are a visual tally of how many players that ship has taken down without ever being destroyed itself. That high value ship with those markings is simply an unprecedented thing in the game and it made it one of the most feared and unique vessels in EVE Online. In his Reddit post, Samantha admitted envying the Amamaki police for the ships that they flew and the high roller attitude they had towards the game. And the key thing that actually sets the Amamaki police apart is their preference for casually flying around in their very rare and expensive ships and actually taking them into combat willingly, despite the fact that death in EVE Online is punished by the permanent loss of the ship that you were flying at the time. So most players don't ever risk their most valued ships and instead prefer flying around in cheaper, almost disposable vessels. So these guys are like adrenaline junkies, right? They've got these really expensive spaceships and they de deliberately seek out combat and battle and stuff because they like the thrill of almost losing their really precious ships that they've, you know, it takes months to, to save up and get these ships. So they're extremely valuable and they love the, the risk of like losing it at any second. Samantha Samantha managed to enter their ranks by parking up in Amamake territory one day in an electronic warfare vessel that can jam enemy ships. He sat there waiting for them to ask for some assistance and his patience was soon rewarded when Amamake pilot Casper24 entered the public chat to ask for help to take down a rival gang. Good fights ensued and I was in, Samantha wrote. Samantha found his way into the inner circle within a month and he quickly began working to exploit the way the Amamake police traded one super rare ship for another in mutual trades. Samantha said they passed such rare unique ships around amongst each other like a cheap joint. Samantha pretended to save up for several months to afford an alliance tournament ship of his own, when in reality he had cash saved up from a previous scam and bought a 90 billion isk whiptail ship. It was essentially the bare minimum of what he needed. Okay, can we put this in like context now? The 90 billion pound uh, isk ship is probably worth about 3000 US dollars something like that by our estimations we might be off there but i think um, very last minute rough estimations yeah. just before we came in here <laughs> yeah so bear that in mind this ship that he bought with his own like ill gotten gains yeah. because he was a pirate before this or whatever it's worth almost 3 grand yeah and that translates to either a lot of money or loads of time in the game trying to get this you know this isk to to spend on ships his next move was in his words probably the scariest thing i've ever done in my eve career he gave TikTok Toxic his shiny new whiptail ship and asked for nothing in return. And in so doing, he broke the tradition of mutual trades. It was now an accepted thing to just give someone a really valuable ship and demand nothing in return. And that's really the crux of the heist, because when he asked a few weeks later, TikTok was compelled to let him borrow his legendary mini Huntress ship. Samantha finally had his prize, but that wasn't enough for him. He pushed his luck further and asked another Amamaki pilot, Casper 24, you know, the guy who'd asked for help all those months ago, and borrowed his IMP vessel, another rare and expensive frigate. He closed the whole thing by asking a third pilot to borrow his expensive hauler, a ship that can travel between systems without a stargate. So there he was, just hours later, with three Amamaki police ships worth 300 billion isk, safely docked in Eve's biggest trade hub, Jeter. Mission accomplished, he said. So in risking a 90 billion isk ship and yep. giving that out for free, he gets his rewards, which is a three 300 billion isk, like a trio of ships, 
Not that it was like the value of the ships necessarily. Yeah. He says that he did it because he wanted to do it because of the story. But you got to go to hand it to the guys. It's pretty ingenious. It's, it's a yeah. long term goal. Like yeah. you know what I mean. A very astute as well. The whole thing of, of giving them giving him a ship for free, biding his time for a few weeks, and then going, "Hey, can I borrow yeah. your ship?" Yes. <laughs> you know, that's <laughs> it's very like socially. That's very astute. So. <laughs> Whatever you think of all these guys done, that is pretty clever. That is that is yeah. good, like uh, you know, trickster heist material right there. You've got to think whether this guy is employed or whether he just like because <laughs> all that time, like sixteen yeah. months of like in-game time, just on this one heist. How much of a payoff is that? Like, yeah. I don't plan anything for sixteen minutes. Never mind well, sixteen months. It's, well, yeah, I mean, he's, he's very creative, obviously. So if you just like channel that into you know, writing or something like he could come up with some awesome sci-fi stuff like yeah. he could come up with some good stories samantha's heist while dedicated and pretty ingenious at some points has not exactly won him many fans in the eve community and the theft was only brought to the victim's attention when samantha took to reddit to tell his story this was a hard one to pull off and i have got to say i almost wish i didn't samantha said i almost became emotionally attached to my victims but this is eve and this is the role that i play it's you know commitment to the character you know role playing a role that's yeah. that's one thing it sounds to me a little bit like he just was playing a game he made some friends borrowed a ship and then stole it yeah and then he's like shit i've just stolen this guy's ship i'm gonna tell everyone that i planned it ahead yeah of time. May yeah <laughs> you know? maybe that is the, the i angle. feel like there's some of, some of that going on maybe. but if not know. like the police should definitely recruit him for some undercover work or yeah the fbi yeah. or something this guy's got some talent despite many kind words from samantha the betrayal has obviously upset the victims tiktok and his amamake comrades responding to samantha's reddit post tiktok said i can confirm he has my chromos Panther and Casper's imp. If you are indeed running with them, well played to you, sir. You have been one of the few people I actually enjoy playing with, so I'm more sad about losing our friendship and the future fun together than some space pixels. That's heartbreaking. But, wow, um, that is right in the heart, isn't it? But there's more. <laughs> TikTok also told PC Gamer, I was just sad about losing a friendship. This guy had been flying with me for 16 months and he's probably the guy I've flown most with in the past year or so. I like to do really silly stuff and I quickly get bored. So I moved from activity to activity. He shared that passion or pretended to. I don't know anymore. Oh, TikTok. Oh. Poor guy. It's like, if you play this, this game, yeah. you expect to have, you know, a good time with friends. He's such a gentleman though. He's like, <laughs> well, you know, Hands up. I'm sad about losing a friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a way, what a way to take it. Like, if the guy was uh, was feeling any kind of rush from doing this, surely yeah. when he read that response, it was yeah. just, yeah, you know, all of the all of the energy's drained out of him. Surely. And it's great that they're, they, that they're talking to one another on the forums, yeah. like like being civil to one another, yeah. like outside of game, like the broken character and everything. It's like, well, fair play to you, yeah. sir. You've done well. Hats off. Well, this the guy um, Samantha admitted though he's terrible at PvP. He's not a talented pilot at all. That's where the the you know the jamming electronic warfare ship and stuff. You know, that's very also another very clever thing. He made himself useful without being a good combat pilot and yeah. stuff. So that's also very cool. Yeah. But I hope. That that TikTok just like kicks his ass like when every when every season on Evil Online it's like oh it's that guy <laughs> it doesn't sound like he's gonna yeah. do it but it's, it's yeah. he can obviously destroy anyone he wants in yeah. that game so he's gonna have one hell of a reputation now because it's one yeah. persistent universe there's no different servers yes. or anything it's like he, everyone's gonna know that he's a complete scammer because this this news is broken up and it's not like he got found out he was like hey everyone I'm a scammer <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think I think for me, like this whole story kind of sums up how great um, a community like Eve Online, oh, God, or yeah. like making your yeah. own fun in a game where you don't necessarily use um, the game itself. It, the game itself is more a vessel to the fun that you have. Like you, you're making this story, you're making your own kind of narrative in it, and it, it it's like these these MMO RPG like this persistent world type of things where you're talking with other people on a daily basis and you're making plans and and you know it's kind of like real life but Better. in a game. Yeah, but better. It's like you don't have to go outside in the real world. But it, it's great. Like these type of game. That's why even on online's great. That's why I played it. Yeah. I played it for a good while. Yeah, from from the outside, their stories like this are just absolutely fascinating. Like it's yeah. a social, you know, experiment or something. It's just amazing. It's yeah. just cra it's crazy that stuff like this happens. And it's even online is always churning stuff like this out. Yeah. This has got to be one of the best yeah. that I, I can remember anyway. And on a, on talking about how great the uh, Eve community is, TikTok got his ship back pretty sharpish because the guy put the um, stolen ships. He put he put them on on sale on the forums and like was inviting bidders and stuff. TikTok ship was bought by like uh, just like a random random bidder. TikTok had managed to fundraise some cash thanks to help from you know other, other like senior friends in the EVE community. He bought a replacement ship and then traded that with the random who had bought the ship you know the stolen ship. So he'd swapped it and then got his ship back and it's awesome. That's really cool. So he's yeah. been reunited with his stolen ship and it's happened 
pretty quickly after yeah. it's got stolen. So that's that's really cool. That's I like the fact that he kickstarted. Or was it like GoFundMe? <laughs> I like the fact that they did a GoFundMe well, page. In the game, though, it's beautiful. Yeah. It was all in the game. It was like crap. There's like an auctioneer and stuff in there. And he went to his auctioneer friend, and his auctioneer was like, "Don't worry, mate. I'll I'll raise some funds for you." <laughs> it's awesome. It's cool. It's amazing. It's like some people sit in front of the telly on an evening and watch Coronation Street or yeah. EastEnders or any other drivel type like soap opera like that. But why not play EVE Online and get involved in the drama, that's what I say. So we'll end this story on this one last note. Samantha said he would like to think that TikTok and he could well still be friends despite his theft. However, according to PC Gamer, while he might not harbour any personal grudge against Samantha, TikTok says it'll be a cold day in hell before he ever calls him a friend. That's it for today's space drama update. Let us know down in the comments below whether you've ever invested 16 months in the pursuit of anything. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here. Check out some more of our content on the screen here. There's a link to Patreon here if you want to support us. We'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.